Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to learn about how to use methods. To begin with, if if you are trying to find out uh, to use a method, uh, we need to find out what kind of uh, methods are available for that specific property or for that specific object in other way. So to do that, uh, we need to, for example, if I have a command that calls get service, uh, in that situation, I can just pipe it to get member gm. So that would actually gives me the full information of that uh, object. In this case, uh, I can also see the properties as well as the methods uh, which are the member type. So in this, uh, we can use the methods. Uh, these are the possible methods which are available. Like you can uh, do uh, the service specific object. Since this is a service specific object, I can do the stop or close or uh, refresh, uh, start. All these actions I can perform it with the, by using the methods. I wanted to explain here one of the practical problem or practical guessing um, another way. Uh, for example, um, here I have the uh, get hyphen services and I wanted to start for getting started the specific service. I can actually uh, use multiple options uh, like I can pipe it uh, directly uh, like here the, the whatever the command is coming up just from here. From here, uh, once I piped it, I can uh, call from the memory whatever it is coming as the object from the memory I can uh, pipe it to get uh, for each object whatever it is coming in this case the bit I can apply conditions to start uh, that specific service or I can simply use another command uh, maybe for example here I can use as a specific uh, service like uh, service specific command like uh, start hyphen service as a bit so that would actually start the service automatically so if you can you know check out this specific service is now started uh, since we do have here the start service uh, we can use this this is one of the possible option what if if you don't want to use this but you wanted to find out uh, with the help of for each because uh, in the in the upcoming uh, scripting uh, lectures you might be using for each as very frequently so let's have a look on that so here I can simply pipe out uh, and then I can say that uh, uh, for each whatever it is coming uh, within the uh, within the object like uh, in this case within this object uh, for everything for example if I may have here beads and winrm or different services right so for of all of them here i can what i can do is i can apply uh, to do that again as you know i need to take it uh, into the two uh, brackets and from the memory uh, if i want to call it um, as i explained in the previous lectures we need to uh, hit uh, dollar and then underscore that's a memory and out of that uh, the value which you wanted to call in this case it's a status what we wanted to see for the name of the bit service so we are entering here as the status let's hit enter then you would be now able to see here as the status has stopped now however this is what we don't want it actually we wanted uh, we wanted to start or stop the service so what I'm gonna do is now instead of the start stop here uh, can I put here as a start let's give it try if I give here as a start uh, it might fail or it will fail in fact because this is not the right way of doing uh, let's have a look on it so it says that hey it's the wide start should be like this so it should be in under uh, two more brackets so I'm just entering here as the same command with the normal brackets so with this now the service is started if I get the status of this specific service uh, it's running now so the takeout for uh, running of any of the method you need to have the parentheses uh, brackets to be uh, here uh, must be mentioned otherwise it can't start that or it can't perform that specific step thank you for watching this I hope this is useful for you